Hello, welcome back. I will continue where I was last, and that was um, with the card config file and uh, the path. As you know now, you have to fill in all those paths with the CGI, uh, the path.cgi. Furthermore, um, let's take a look here. Change the demo and the demo for the password. Once you have used a key, so you can change this if you want, uh, do not uh, change it. Um, a little bit below, the email method is for Unix server, send mail, and um, if you have a Windows server put here, copy this and paste it here, SMTP. And Sometimes this is enough, however, for Windows uh, you have to put here SMTP2. So I won't do that. Normally it's okay like this. Put uh, on this line your customer email address, so not your PayPal address, but your customer service email address. Um, I will scroll down. And here you have shipping, you can change that. Now let's take a look here at uh, payments uh, uh, which you want to accept. In this case, I accept PayPal and check. Well, check is mentioned and corresponding with this word here. So never change anything on the left side. Here, here, here and here be sure never change anything here but on the right side you want maybe uh, something else this is in fact, in fact what your customers will see on your website and our radio buttons so let's say um, we add a payment I copy roll pay and I put here I paste it and I will put the quotes, the comma here, and also here. Now in this case, sorry, there, that's not good here, this is correct. Now I accept three pay, uh, payments uh, methods, PayPal, WorldPay and Check. If I don't want that it's in my pull down menu, menu credit card, well, I only do this and it will say WorldPay. On the right side are is the all the are the radio buttons and on the left side do not change it's um, configured in the system. Now um, the rest is uh, amped as I said before in the script. So here you put your PayPal email address, a US dollar standard, but you can put uh, Euro like this or let's say great british pound uh, st sterling so use this as an example authorized.net configuration world pay configuration put here your world pay account number between the quotes and here you put zero if your site goes live people can check out them. Product options, in this case you have uh, three pro pro option types, so let's say color is one and size is two, so you still have one left. You are, however, you can put more if you want. Let's say you have now uh, color and size, so you have ten colors, add ten sizes. So you can make also 20 if you want, but you don't need to fill it in at the administration area. You can also uh, put th three colors. Standard. Let's take a look here at states. Well, that means also countries. Uh, the example is shown above and you can fill in all countries uh, for the European Communion. Um, or in, in this case you can then put let's say NL for Netherlands 
a little bit further, I will put Germany, etc. Um, okay. Be sure that when it's a dollar, what you accept, that uh, you want to change it uh, to euro. It is also empty in the script, but for the dollar, you need this slash. I will go out and to the right here, you will see how to insert the euro sign with a space. The space is always this sign. Let's uh, click and I will zoom in a little bit. This is a space. So I will copy this. Oh, well, it's very much uh, zoom. <laughs> Um, and I will paste it here. That's correct. It's incorrect to do it like this. That's a space on your keyboard. It's not a space on your website. Um, in uh, Europe, we use a comma, so change that to price as sort field. Well, it will search on price, so the cheapest, um, uh, lowest price first, and the highest price at the last. If you put name, it will sort on name. Reverse order is not standard. Um, you can change this if you want. The photo line, you can uh, now when you leave it blank, it will be on top, and down below you will see on your website the description of your uh, product. Put it left, the photo, and your uh, description will be on the right side. And put it right, and you have your description on the left side. Finish editing, do not add it below. That's it. Okay. Now let's take a look uh, at a website uh, here. And what's nice is the examples. If I click here on blue and I click on go, uh, there's a white t shirt, modern beach t shirt. I click and I will see it is said here white. But in the pull down menu, as you can see, it says baby blue. So it will find also everything with the uh, with the color blue or description blue okay on the examples here it's how to make links and there's also a possibility to put here like I did in a pagelet um, I don't have gloves and shoes but you can put there uh, your categories let's say I go to jeans and immediately you will see it is uh, it has been it has found two type of jeans this is also nice now your customer can check the status of their order if they click just like this they must enter their email address so let's uh, put it here and I will put here now my email address and as you can see I click and now immediately uh, I will see my order at the administration area you change the status you need to change in review.cgi this part here fill it in this is all uh, editable, editable um, you can see also that it's uh, the system put the name um, and the, p the payment method too. Now I've um, logged in into the uh, administration and when I zoom in the above buttons are your layout and here you see store administration and let's take a look at my order and I need to zoom out a little and okay let's search 
and I will click on details and here you will see that uh, what I've bought I can change these status now on pending and if I want I can also delete the order or edit the order and make also a back order if necessary okay I will go back now now it's uh, pending and let's uh, take a look here you still see my uh, the customer is logged in if I refresh now this page okay it says pending so immediately your customer can see what's happening um, now I will open here uh, the card config uh, file I told you about how to make different URLs with the drop down menu in the categories or continue shopping link with all the products now here this is how to make a simple link and it's also uh, explained on the example page and here you will see an advanced link to a category which is telling um, the program I will explain it here, you can read it uh, it tells the program that this is searched across the products in the store category is pink plus shoes, the plus you need in Netscape so be sure it's also there in the link as it's here and here it's not so this is not important it will only display then pink shoes um, if you want to know more about this uh, go to the data logica website in the handbook if you want to go deeper into the shopping cart system what you have to do is um, with the shop.html which has been created in uh, Sandfox in the aqua design that I made um, put on uh, every spot so also above let's take a look here a slash this is for the CSS files but also the links like here and a little bit below um, on every page let's say here the sample page and to the CGI bin so you will see that uh, there's on the right side here a slash too okay now because there is no uh, I did not uh, use the raw HTML method in the new Sandfox tool it puts it in a paragraph it is a uh, take a look at your website if it's okay like that if not the layout is not uh, what you like just delete this part and put it between the divs and you're done and it's finished that's all you need to do um, with the shop.html which is here and which I've um, explained in the previous video I think that I have uh, explained now enough I will show you also the preview here I've made some photos from uh, what the customer will see. This is what you will receive. Uh, that there has been an order received by email. And this is um, what the customer will see. Uh, the name. And you can change this all uh, in the paid version. Standard, you will not see. Uh, you cannot edit emails. And here will uh, mention free shopping cart. So people will see that you use a free shopping cart and um, and this is uh, this is edit editable too if you don't want but this is only for you for the administration uh, area so you get an email that you're up to date and that there is a new order in your database which is in fact as I told before flat um, files so no MySQL I thank you for watching, go to this domain name and ask questions and here on this side you can have the handbook and learn a lot about the free CGI shopper card system especially made for Rapid Weaver and Sandfox and you can download it at, uh, at my website.